I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a thinking question on polynomial functions. Thanks to my subscribers for posting such beautiful questions and I hope its solution will help many others. The question here is, determine algebraically where the cubic polynomial function that has zeros at 2, 3 and minus 5 and pass through the point 436 has a value of 120. You can always pause your video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So we are given here that we have zeros or x-intercepts at 2, 3, and 5. So let's look into this line first. There's zeros of 2, 3, and minus 5. That really means that the factors are x minus 2. That will give you 0 at 2. x minus 3 will give me 0 at 3 and x plus 5 is going to give 0 at plus 5. As a general polynomial, write a and let's write this as f of x. So that becomes the equation of a polynomial. To find a, we'll consider the given point. It passes through 436, correct? That really means that 4 is x value, 36 is y value, f of x. So we can write this 36 here and replace x with 4. So 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 3 times 4 plus 5, right? So replacing all x with 4. This helps to find the value of a, correct? So we have 36 equals to a times 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 3 is... Uh, 4 minus 3 is 1 and 4 plus 5 is 9 for us, correct? So, so we got the value of a as uh, 36 divided by 9 times 2 is 18, that is a, and clearly that is equals to 2. So the value or the equation of this function is 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 5, correct? So we have done the first part of getting to the equation, and now let us find determine algebraically where the cubic polynomial function which has all these zeros and pass through this has a value of 120. So we have to find x for which f of x is 120, right? That means we need to find x for which f of x equals to 120. That is what it means, right? So what we can do is um, in this particular equation, let's replace f of x with 120, right? So we have 120 equals to 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 5. Dividing by 2, you could get 60 equals to x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 5, correct? So that becomes your, your equation. So till now what we have done is we found the equation and now the question is we have to find the value of x. So let me rewrite the equation here. We, we want product of three factors which are x minus 2, x minus 3 and x plus 5 as equal to 60. One of the method here is of course to expand all this. Uh, you get a cubic equation and solve bringing 60 to the right side and solve the equation. Now what I suggest here is a different approach. How do we get 60 by multiplying three numbers? This is what we need to think. So think like this. 60 has factors of 6 and 10, correct? And 10 could be written as 2 times 5, for example. So if I have to multiply three numbers and get 60, then I might as well look for some combination like this or we could have 2 times 3 and 10, something like this. So we could have this kind of combination. Is it okay? Or the other combination. Now if you look at it, if I substitute x as 5, if I substitute x equals to 5, then what happens? In that case, we get 5 minus 2 times 5 minus 3 times 5 plus 5. And that is 5 minus 2 is 3, 
5 minus 3 is 2 and 5 plus 5 is 10 and that is indeed equal to 60 and therefore these factors work and therefore I can say that x equals to 5 is the solution now I hope this approach fits well with your curriculum right so I don't want to really expand this get to the cubic equation you understand bring 60 and do all that work again I'd rather take a method like this and may take a hit of 0.5 marks right my suggestion is even if you lose 0.5 in doing this kind of a way it is worth it so so the answer here is that x equals to 5 for f of x to be equals to 120 right so what we are saying is f of 5 is equals to 120 perfect so that is how I'll suggest you to do this question you may lose 0.5 marks but it's worth it I hope you like that suggestion thanks and all the best the reason is that you know I teach my students to get 90 plus and I don't really care for getting 100 percent so if you do like this you're close to 100 right that's good enough thank you and all the best